Hey folks, this is Bobo the Vulture. And the Mysterious JG. And this is Let's Play Together Metal Gear Solid 2 Solid Snake. Even though it's a one player game, we're gonna play it together. And it's gonna be awesome. I think you need to go down a level, don't you? Oh, I do. I was wondering whether or not, because we, we. Have we still explored this whole building? I don't think so, but. I don't know. It seems like we should. We should continue on. Well, we want to get card key three, and I'm not sure if it's going to turn out to be in this building somewhere or on the other side of the minefield, but. Damn it! Oh, you know what would have been good to have gotten? What? Operations. Where are you thinking could have just gotten rations? Oh, that truck. Well, there's the truck, there's also the place on the floor with the gas. Yes. Uh, thing. Gas X. Oh. Okay, nobody. Yeah, nobody's coming in here this time. You timed that perfectly. Not on floor two. Was it floor three? I think it was floor three. We're about to find out, Daddy. Might not. Uh, <laughs> might not be. This, uh, I was about to say might not be entering from this elevator, but the el other elevator doesn't come to this floor, or that floor, yeah, so it's, if you go straight down from here, I believe you will find rations. If I go straight down from here, Like I to the next screen. Oh. oh, oops. Sorry, right, I'll punch out this too. You can't see around computers. <laughs> Alright, cool, and I can, uh, you know, I can farm leave, for go to here. another floor, come back. Let's see if, see if we gotta rank up because we beat the boss, we might be able to carry another ration. That'd be pretty cool if we could carry three. But, uh, I think we should check the other doors, too. I was thinking of the I was thinking of the doors as opposed to uh, Nick Arcade, but yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we ever manage to get out of this room? I don't know. Come on. Yeah, you might have been right about exploring this building some more before we start crossing minefields. Thanks to find it. Don't go crossing minefields. Something, 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 something. I didn't name ourselves after animals, anyways. Who is it that said that animals are such violent things in it? People, that's it. You guys all suck. People are violent, not animals. Animals are perfectly innocent. Yes. Now, I would say is that the German soldier is most like the eagle with its hunting instinct, and the Jew is most like the rat. However, unlike Goebbels, I do not find that comparison insulting. For you see the rat now. Yes. A little left. Uh, I don't think I would have been as good as the uh, evil Nazi officer in that movie as the guy that got to play that. He was, uh, yeah, that ain't glorious bastards. Uh, I was thinking you were talking about Panzer General, the movie. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, I just went off into this whole thing about rats. Uh, well, go down and see if we can get a, how many rations we can get. Well, let's just go see if we can get in this door first. Can I? I will when I'm ready. Oh, I mean, because it's when you're both ready. Yeah, if you wait till you're ready, it'll be more fulfilling for both of you. <laughs> Jeez, just like triumph in the crowd, waiting for the elevator to show up. <laughs> I mean, I'm really excited about this. I mean, I'm ready. <laughs> and Christian is doing muscle poses while Ed just like triumphing the elevator. It's disgusting. It's WWF uh, tag team for Edge and Chris. Decades past. I mean, they both still exist as professional wrestlers. As as no, I think Edge is retired. Well, that's right, he did retire, didn't he? I can't carry Still anyone. can only carry one. That kind of sucks. It does, kind of. Alright, so we couldn't get through that door. Now, we could try to go through this whole gas mask area and see if there's any new possibilities open to us. You know, that's true. We could, um... 
Let's see if we can go through here now that we have the extra card key. Yeah, which I don't think we bothered trying before. Let's the gas mask. Yeah. And somebody who's on the... Yeah, somebody it's over here could like fall... Like, ooh, stop your that, oxygen, that Your oxygen level is still going down. It's going down slower. I'm not sure if it's affected at all. Climb under the table for funsies. Okay. That was a waste of time. Wait for camera. Alright then. Mask. Yes, although still almost out of oxygen. Well, you could crack climb under that table again, because you are going to lose health before you get out of here. Well, so why would it? No, the, the, the other table, the one in that room that we no. had the camera. I just determined this was the other table. He turned off the lights to mess with you? Yes. I have to go down here and hit the lights. <laughs> Douchebag. Well, go ahead and use your rations and then, uh. Yes, yeah. get new ones. Is it worth going back there to look under that table, do you think? Or so far there have been any plot no, I, I, items I, underneath yeah, I, tables. I, I, I doubt it. So okay, but we couldn't get into. I was going to tell you to get more ammo because there's more ammo here, but you've only used one bullet, so I think we'll be okay. So we couldn't get into this door with the right. Enemies, right? We still can't. This was key, card key one, so this was card key one. <laughs> Excuse me. Contract clowns and these two. But yeah, again, we're not finding anything except ammo down there and like rations, not anything really <laughs> terribly essential. And, you know, if I, uh, and the giant mouse, the place I like to hide my uh, ammunition it is underneath my computer desk. <laughs> Right, and then there's this place with the crazy floor. But this is the only place back here is stuff we've already been to, so. I think so. Okay, so we have explored at least these top floors as much as we can. Well, and I think there might be some rooms. might be some more stuff on this floor past those radar things, but I don't I'm not convinced that there are. I think we might as well head for the minefield. We need to get another key card before we're gonna find anything really <laughs> useful. The blue of that background and the gunshot just reminds me of Mayfag and Spirit. I mean, uh, Top Secret episode. Secret episode. Blah, 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 blah. Top Secret episode. I was saw you pressing the. I pressed, pressed, pressed the wrong button. button. I know. You guys, calm down for a minute. Yeah. They're guards. This is exciting for them. Like there's a dude. Let's get him. Crushinator, get him. Green Beret Guard. It's like, yes, I get to do something. Now, let's just get out that door and see whether or not that actually is a new safe point, because we were really concerned about that for a long time. Can you guys still see me? They can't see you, but your alarm countdown isn't changing either. Just flee the building. Let's, let's see yeah. what happens.
Okay. So now we're back to where we were before, but this time there's a reason. Yes. Back to one hit from death. And let's go ahead and throw out the mine detector here. Don't throw it out, we're gonna need that. Ah. Ah, I see. Shows up only on the Sultan. Now uh, you wanted to see whether or not. I wanna see if we can pick them these. up. Looks like we can. And as in previous games, this begs the question do you really need the mine detector? Because uh, there are other, uh, not previous games, and this is actually previous to these games I'm thinking of, but. Gotta the, catch them all, enemy mines. There are games that were available in the United States before this was, where yes, the mine detector is actually useless. Once you've established there are mines in an area, you can crawl around and get them. Without necessarily I'm knowing a lot of mines. where they are. I don't know what my maximum is. Well, you can check your weapon oh. screen. Got 14. 14. I can. Up to 16 can be set at a time, so. Wow. Now there's blips moving around in the next screen. There are. Well, the one blip I would like to move around a little bit is the note. What's that noise? That's singing sand imported all the way from Okinawa, Japan. What the hell are you talking about? It's like ninja floors. It squeaks when you walk on it. The sound will give your position away. So be careful. See ya. That is ridiculous. That is, yeah. Singing sand, it's like, uh... I, I think I just leveled up. Cool. It would appear that you have to be standing upright to get into a truck. And that guy's gonna find you anyway, so... Damn it all the hell. Yeah, you guys aren't catching me in the minefield. I know that. They might catch me. Now, on their way back to this. Yes, it is. It's a boom. Boom. I can't get it anymore. So, um, did you enjoy my I Don't Speak Any Italian opera? It was pretty awesome. Huh? It's singing sound, sand, you know? Sure, it's famous in Italy. <laughs> it's a singing sand imported from Japan. And now I know the port is the only way my can go. Yes. Yes. Wait. Check. I think you've got that more than one I now. Can hold. Oh, there's different sliced ham, chicken and turkey, spaghetti, cheese and coffee. This is a B3 unit. This is a B1 unit. B1 up. So yeah, there's more than one ration. And you can only have one of each flavor before Solid I'm Snake starts getting sick of them. I'm down with that. Oh yeah. That one guy's acting crazy up there. It's probably like having a singing sand concert. Victory by singing sand concert. Okay, so this particular singing sand really freaks them out. That makes noise confuses them rather it than doesn't direct to them to where the sand came from or the sand came from. It just confuses freezes. Them. Them. Now get that. I would equip that you mine detector yeah, again. Yeah. Just mines. 
I don't know if it's mines, but there's definitely something major just ahead. I can't carry anymore. Is it ammo or is it a ration flavor? I don't know. That seems like it might be a boss ahead. Yeah, like a tank. Fine. Great minds think alike. Yeah, if it's probably the variety of ration that's in the other uh, can. Right. No way to know. What? No. It's a little early in the game to be fighting a hind. It's a hindy. Well, what? It's not too early to be taking on a hind after all. Yeah. Okay. This is Saw Snake. Come Find in. a goddamn helicopter oh, here. I heard they keep stinger missiles in the armory on the northeast side of the swamp for the hind bee to use. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, good to know, huh? Northeast side of the swamp. What if Master Miller will tell you anything that useful? Northeast side of the swamp. Oh, I gotta go back to where that kid was. Yep. See ya. Hey, big fan. Do you have anything to tell me? De Niro snipes the big fan. Uh, George? You actually do have stuff to tell me, don't you? Oh, indeed. Just hear that name makes my knees go all wobbly. Is that... Is it is, Nobunaga. <laughs> Weight capacity 12,000 kilogram, top speed 250 kilometers per hour, top altitude 4,500 meters. Thing you sure do like your metric system. <laughs> I mean, you're a scientist, I guess. That totally makes sense. It's armed with missiles and a Vulcan cannon, and protected by titanium armor, a real beast of a chopper. You don't stand a snowball's chance in hell if it starts strafing you from above. Oh, uh, it already happened. <laughs> As it turns out, before I realized it was boss. They used to say that if you saw a high D coming at you, you might as well say your prayers, but Stinger missiles even the odds a little bit. Hmm. Stingers, you can have that thing in clobbering time! Or, not good. Yeah, never mind. Over and out. <laughs> Buzzards. Gotcha. What about vultures? No, vultures are worthless against this thing. That's probably true. The combat speed of that chopper is roughly 250 kilometers an hour, at least that's what the other guy said. About half the speed of propeller, propeller aircraft. So you can keep it in your sights for a long time. A helicopter is most vulnerable when it's turning. Get into position and shoot it down before its next attack. Over and out. Yeah, we're getting some pretty exciting bosses pretty early here. This is all valuable information, too. Mm -hmm. But we don't have stingers. I don't think you're going to take that thing down with landmines. No. Or I am gonna or take it down with the help of Master Miller. The Salt Snake, come in. You can drink your own saliva, but never spit it out. All oh, right, that's it. <laughs> Master Miller, always able to help. Hey, what about uh, the guy who likes animals? <laughs> right, the guy who likes animals. What was his frequency? Um, what the hell was his frequency? Oh, 93. Oh no, I just talked to him. Oh, Johan, at 40, right. Frequency 40. Hey, Johan! He's gonna defend vultures from my uh, horrible attacks before. Or he just won't talk to you at all. Alright. Next time we're gonna take on a hind. It's yeah. pretty exciting. Um, well, actually, no. Next time we're probably gonna run around looking for a swamp and some stinger missiles. How long do you want these videos to be? About 15. Okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we'll definitely need to get a stinger before we can do anything against this chopper. That is for sure. Um, so, when we come back next time, we're going to do that, and hopefully we will be able to take the chopper down, and we won't accidentally draw its fire toward a little kid running around in the jungle by itself. Kind of accidentally on purpose. <laughs> no, yeah, man. Kind of sad, yeah. But anyhow, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture. I'm the Mysterious JG. When we come back next time, we'll do all that stuff. So uh, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you then. Bye now.